Hello and welcome to Bone Slicers uh, Unroll Tournament 3 video tutorials. And what I'm going to do today is uh, constraints. I have a tree that I've added here to my map and I have a light that I've changed to a dynamic light underneath the tree. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to add a light to the map. And for this particular map I'm in ASC lights and I'm choosing the, the uh, the light SM wall light 04 for this particular tutorial. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click in this perspective view on the map. And I'm going to add this light. But I'm going to add actor as a rigid body. And the way you get to this, if you go to all templates, then you can see everything over here uh, that you normally don't see that you can add different types of things. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add it as a, just as a rigid body, uh, and then I'm going to pull the light up. And you have to have a rigid body uh, for, to use with constraints, just so you know. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a tree limb here. I'm going to put this underneath the tree limb. Let me get in the top viewport so I can see what I'm doing here a little better. All right, there we go. That's where I'm at. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come over to this tree limb and try to get somewhere on here in the center of it and pull this thing up. It's kind of hard to tell here. Okay, I need to come over a little bit. Good enough. Good enough. All right. So I have my light there. Okay. While I have my light there, there we go. That looks pretty good there. Okay. What you want to do now, uh, since the light is light is in place, um, you want to go to the Actor Class browser. And you want to go to, let's see here, RB constraints. And you want to highlight the RB uh, underscore BS actor, uh, joint actor. You want to highlight that with, with your uh, rigid body static mesh. And this highlight at the same time, once you right click on your rigid body static mesh light, and once you do that, you click Add RB Joint Actor here. All right, there you go. So what that does is that adds the actual joint that you're going to use to make this light move and swing like on a swing. So you want to center that up in the center there. And then you want to bring it up to actually where you want it to swing from with the little, if you see, there's a little loop right there. If you see that little kind of like X right in there, that's where we want it to be, right there. That's where I actually want it to swing from. Just a little bit. There we go. Oop. There we go. That's pretty close there. Okay. Okay, what I want you to do now is uh, we want to right click on the uh, joint here and go to its properties. And under RB Constraint Actor, what you want to do now is click Lock. And what this is going to do, this is going to lock everything from moving while you set this up. So now what we want to do is highlight our tree. And with our tree highlighted, over here where it says Constraint Actor 1, go ahead and click the Use Arrow. And then I want you to highlight the light rigid body and constraint actor 2 click to use arrow again and then I just want you to build all and save
Hopefully this will work for us. This is the first time I tried to test this out in the I don't know, Terminator 3 editor here. Okay. Click File, Save Current Level. Okay, now with that done, let's exit out our Active Class Browser. Exit out of Properties. Uh, now let's just go into the map here. Let's right click on the floor and click right from here. You are on red. Now we see our light up here. So if we shoot it, hopefully it'll swing. There you go. It did swing, but yeah, see it kind of, hmm. There we go. So it's on a hinge, you see, and it's swinging. <laughs> I guess I need to move the hinge a little bit, but it does swing. That kind of a weird effect, but nevertheless, it is working. So there you go. That concludes Unreal Tournament 3, uh, building a hinge constraint actor. Thank you for watching.